We're waiting on parts for last, so on this week's episode... We're going to show you how we built our off-road camper trailer from a Parenti tub. So let's get into it. Our homemade Land Rover tub camper trailer started off like most projects, with a couple of cold ones around the fire with mates. I firstly acquired the camper trailer from a close friend of mine. It had great bones, but with a fair amount of surface rust and requiring a new canvas, it needed a new lease on life. Knowing that it would be turned into something truly unique, a queen size bed on 33 inch muddies, I managed to take it off his hands for an absolute bargain, and the rest is history. Looking back, I wish I had filmed the entire build, but I've put together this collage of iPhone footage to give you an idea of the build process. Many of you have requested more information about our trailer, so I hope you enjoy this video. It started off as a steel chassis, steel framed, soft top, leaf sprung camper trailer. I quickly got to removing the steel sheet, taking it right down to just the chassis. New project for the, uh, the camper trailer. The end of landing helping me out to get it. The next step was to test fit the tub on the chassis. Take some measurements, then I began to cut the tub to suit and planned out how I was going to make the frame which would support and mount the tub. So I went and I uh, picked up this drawer. Um, it's a 1400 long um, by 750 wide, fully sealed alloy drawer. So I'm gonna mount that to the chassis um, with a couple of, um, some tubing and, and make the back end to fit. The rear cross member construction was made from 50 by 50, two millimeter RHS with three millimeter size side uprights, as these would tie into some recovery plates either side for if the trailer ever needed to be winched from the rear. After the rear cross member was built, the tub supports from the front to the rear were made using 30 by 30, two millimeter steel RHS. These wouldn't hold the entire weight of the tub, just support down the center. I used six millimeter steel plate for the recovery eyes sourced from an old tow bar. The next step was to sheet in the rear wings of the cross member in order to have a location to mount lights. I used steel sheet from the original trailer box. I went with the aftermarket LED Land Rover replacement lights. After the rear cross member was built, the tub supports from the front to the rear were made using 30 by 30, two millimeter steel RHS. It was time to fabricate the front end of the trailer, which would tie in the front of the tub to the chassis for both structural integrity and frontal protection. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of making the uprights of the front section, but I used RHS uprights and sheeted it with a steel propeller plate salvaged from the original trailer. This gave it plenty of strength against any collisions off-road and anything thrown up by the Parenti's rear tires. With the tub finally mounted, we got the trailer registered as we needed to clean up the shed and move back to my parents' place as the rental lease was up and we were meant to have left on our trap lap of Australia. When the trailer finally parked up in my parents' backyard, we got to making the outer frame. This was made from 30 by 32 millimeter RHS, mostly with some other sizes that were left over from the move. Once the frame was complete and painted, we moved on to fixing the aluminium sheet. In true Land Rover style, I chose to use Sikaflex and rivets to secure the sheets to the frame, as well as using Land Rover Defending 90 rear window sections and an old county door. The build was finally taking shape. It was time for paint. With the budget in mind and limited space, we decided to hand paint the camper rather than spray it. So we got to priming the bare metal and spent the nights after work applying coats. Plush. What do you reckon, plush? For the interior lining, we scored some free 100% wool carpet offcuts, so glued it to the inside of the camper to make it cozy for those cool desert nights. 
Due to the time restraint and the fact that I hadn't even started this YouTube channel at the time of building our trailer, there wasn't a lot of footage available. I hope this video shows you a little bit of how we built our homemade off-road camper trailer, Land Rover style. It was a huge learning experience building this trailer as it's the largest fabrication job I have tackled to date. The trailer has served its purpose as a home on wheels very well and continues to perform to this day without any major issues. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. It really helps and we would love to have you following along at our attempt to live an adventurous lifestyle as well as all the fabrication jobs in between.